Hello my dear students, today I am going to show you a solution, single step solution for a tough erodo problem with awesome visuals. Okay, let us go to the question. So uniform sphere of mass m and radius r rolls without sliding over a horizontal plane. Okay, so let us have a look at this. So there is a sphere which is of mass m radius r rolling on a horizontal plane. About a horizontal axle OA. So about this axle OA, it is rolling. In the process, the center of the sphere moves with velocity v along a circle of radius r. So the center of the sphere is moving in a circle of radius r with velocity v. What is the kinetic energy of this sphere? So we need to find what is the kinetic energy of this sphere. Okay. So what we'll be using here is We'll be using the formula kinetic energy equal to half I I C O R into omega square. Okay, the instantaneous axis of rotation into omega square. So in this one step, we'll be completing the problem. So first, what we'll do is we'll find the omega. Then we'll move on to the moment of inertia, and that is it. The problem. Okay. Okay, so first we are going to look at this sphere from this view. Okay, so in this view, so let us just look at this sphere like this. You see, we are only just seeing that this sphere is rotating like this. The center is at rest. Okay, so so if this speed is a v and uh, this is r. We can say omega, this omega. So see, this side is omega, right? We'll say this is omega x equal to v divided by small r, where small r is the radius of the sphere. Okay. So just remember this: omega x is in this direction and is equal to v by small r. Next. Next, you know this rod is rotating like this, so omega y is in this direction. Okay, so if this is v, this is radius capital R, omega y equal to v y capital R. Okay, so we have got omega x and we have got omega y. Okay, now let's move forward. So basically, we have got this omega x as v y smaller. And this omega y as v by capital R equal to omega y. So we can say the uh, angular velocity of this sphere is v by r i cap plus v by capital R j cap. Okay. Next, see we know that this point of the sphere is at rest, right? And this point is also at rest. So what we can say is that this would be the Instantaneous axis of rotation. So what we can write is moment of inertia. Moment of inertia about this axis times the net omega square will be our total kinetic energy. So let us just write that right now. This is radius capital R. This is the radius of the sphere, which is small r. Okay. So the moment of inertia. I'll just write. Draw a line parallel to this, and uh, the moment of inertia about this axis is so. I'll write here the finally kinetic energy equal to half. Okay, moment of inertia about this axis is from parallel axis theorem about this axis plus. Let's say this is v. Okay, so moment of inertia about that axis is two. Two by five m r square. Two by five m r square plus. Okay, two by five m r square plus m into d square. Okay, two by five m r square plus m into d square. You know, d we can find it. Let us say this is theta. Okay. 
we can find uh, what is this d okay and uh, into omega square what is omega square the net omega is v by r i cap plus v by cap total r j cap so this will be v by r whole square plus v by capital r the whole square this will be the net omega square so that's it students in a single step we have solved for the kinetic energy of the sphere okay so see you all thank you wish you all the best bye bye see you